I am Dr. Sridhar. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying the videos uh, that have been shared so far. I have a request. Please do subscribe to the channel as your subscribing motivates me. And uh, please do like and comment on the videos as possible. Continuing the MCQ series, we have uh, some situations where you would definitely pre-medicate for the intubation and some situations you may not. So this question is about what situations you would consider pre-medication for intubation. So would you consider pre-medication in the delivery room, intubation for insure which is planned, elective intubation for surgery and emergency intubation of a baby who has recurrent apnea. So I'll pause for a few seconds, you can think about your answer. So the only definitive answer here is elective intubation for surgery which obviously is a controlled setting and you would definitely pre-medicate such a baby. Intubation for insure, there is variation in practice. Some are worried that if you pre-medicate you may end up uh, giving the baby a few more breaths and uh, that may defeat the purpose of doing the insure. Sometimes the baby may need time to stay on the ventilator for one to two hours. So again that's not going to be insured. The same applies for Lisa as well because you are using a laryngoscope and holding the baby. So some of them use uh, fentanyl uh, or a mild sedation during the insure technique. Most of us are uh, trying insure without the pre-medication but uh, sucrose and comfort care are definitely important. In the delivery room most of us do not use any uh, uh, pre-medication because it's difficult to organize uh, and it's usually an emergency intubation, so you wouldn't premedicate. Again, a baby who has recurrent apnea, who needs a recurrent emergency intubation, it depends on how prepared your unit is. Some units have premedications prepared and ready, and uh, if the baby is stable enough, you may consider doing it, but if the baby is not bagging well, you wouldn't want to compromise by giving the sedation as well, because in some situations, baby has a chest wall rigidity with the fentanyl, or if there is a, a difficult airway, for example, with the succamethonium, the tongue falls back more and it may be a difficult intubation more than otherwise. And these babies may sometimes be even difficult to bag up after you give these medications. So use it in situations where you have uh, senior support available and uh, be careful about uh, other options if you are finding it difficult to manage. So the main thing is you need to consider pain relief during intubation. Uh, sucrose can be used as a routine if you uh, have time and uh, medications can be used for elective intubations and try to use and be gentle as far as you can. Uh, please do like and share this video. Thank you.